Sam, is my hair tousled enough? Okay, it's not too neat. Do you think anybody's gonna notice that I shaved the beard? I guess. Just a minor case of scabies, the beard had to go. Welcome to another episode of Fire to Fork. Tonight, I'm going to make something special for you that I haven't made before. Tube steak. Stand by, let me get this fire going and we'll get started. Forgive me, I just like to play with my water. I needed to clean my induction cooktop for this recipe, so stand by, I'll be using that to make the tube steak. Let's get started. Let's see, it's in here somewhere. Um, tube steak, tube steak. Uh, um, let's see, tube steak. Uh, oh yeah, I want a beer. Tube steak. Here, oh, I'm gonna put all this back in there. Leave that for a little while. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, here in America, this is considered a delicacy. It is Ballpark Franks, otherwise known as tube steak. And we're gonna do something special with it today. First, you should always get a knife that is just big enough for the job at hand. So this is perfect for making some small cuts in the tube steak. Don't worry, I washed this off camera. It's already clean. Okay, so first of all, you cut open the package of tube steak. I'm gonna prick it like that. Okay, good, good, good. So what we're going to do here to get these ready, and uh, it's just me, so I don't need that many. One for me, two for Fred. Fred, where are you? Fred! He's off playing somewhere. So the first thing you want to do is gently slit, slit these diagonal like this. And again, don't get a knife too big for the job. This is a chef trick. Oh, don't stick your fingers like that. Hold them like this so you don't cut off your fingertips. Wait a second. Those tube steaks are in the way. So this is going to be a really dirty American style tube steak with some dirty American cheese, dirty American mustard, and then we're going to make it a little fancy. The tube steak is also going to be similar to a Philly cheese steak. So you'll see how that works out. Oh, my back's getting a little sore. Old injury. As dirty and as an American as you can possibly get, this is called Steakums. I'm not exactly sure what kind of meat it is. It's supposed to be for Philly cheesesteak. It's of a similar consistency to Alpo. Uh oh, dropping it in the fire. Ah, oh no. That's enough for me and Fred. Just a wee bit more. Ah, yes, give them a little flip. That's what I'm looking for. Ah, and this will turn 
from a pinkish gray to a more gray color and then it's ready to go oh my god look at the mess I'm making Since this is not real meat to begin with, I don't think it matters how well done it is because uh, it's manufactured out of something. All right, yes, the tube steaks are coming along nicely. Yes, that's what we're looking for, that almost the color of the fire brown. Okay, so to make this more dirty and more American, what we need to do is throw some cheese on that. Let's see, about that much should do. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Get a table ready for the plating. Move the, oh no, the tube stick off of the heat. And we're going to toast our dirty American buns right there. ready for the plating it's nice to use a special plate for the gratuitous b-roll oh what a wonderful level spot I found oh no oh no all right there we go yes perfect perfect Sort of toasty. Yes, yeah, sort of toasty. Now, get one tube steak for each. There we go. So, we need to put some dirty American mustard on here. I want to make this as American and dirty as possible. And then, Yes, stitch you never look so good. Uh, yes, it's perfect. Perfect. Oh well, the cheese is still on there. Okay, now to straighten these up for the plating. Yes, oh yes, this is perfect. Perfect tube steak. And we need our veg, some roasted garlic kraut. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is so delicious. <laughs>
Now for a bite. Oh, this is looking good. Mmm. Oh, let's get it in there. <laughs> so, all kidding aside, I want to talk to you about YouTube creators. Um, if you like YouTube like I do, you follow specific people like Harry Fisher, Fire to Fork. I love watching his videos as soon as they come out. Ronnie Dahl, um, also uh, Andrew St. Pierre White. Um, I like Intense Off Road, or I'm not sure what you're calling it now, Alex. It seems like you change Intense, and many, many, many others that I really enjoy. This is harder than it looks. I've been goofing around at this for a long time now, about three years, and it's difficult it's difficult to find the time to do it it costs money for equipment um there's a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes and then video editing that may be the hardest part of it and the most tedious and these guys do it to produce videos that you and i enjoy so um all kidding aside harry fisher is is probably my favorite i discovered him on instagram when i was searching for land cruiser 80 series models like this one when he still had brick and i stumbled upon his instagram account and then i saw that he cooked over the fire as well and that was a perfect fit for me it's what i love to do camp land cruiser cook over the fire i love it so you have your favorite youtubers your your content creators where and on many different platforms think about how you can support them there's lots of ways you can do it one is as simple as subscribing to their channel and then giving them a thumbs up and then comment you know make make the posts engaging if you like something about it take a couple minutes put it in the comments there's other ways you can do it too you can buy their merchandise i got this t-shirt harry i'm not sure how you're making any money on these t-shirts because i thought it was really inexpensive and then you also shipped it to america at a very very low cost so um i hope it helps you out i love it um i've got a t-shirt from ronnie Dahl. i've got uh, one of uh, harry's wooden cups i forget what you call what you call them harry is perfect i love the thing um you know support the youtube creators that you like you can also do that on patreon for many of them for just a few bucks a month for the same amount of money you would spend to buy an expensive coffee you could really help somebody who produces content that you enjoy so check that out um and then if you thought this was funny or if you're interested in seeing other stuff i do as i try to do this more on weekends around a full-time job then uh you know what like and subscribe to my channel as well but really go for the professionals the people who don't just kid around at it but really know what they're doing um, you will not be disappointed and you can support content that you enjoy you know we, we pay for lots of subscriptions we got Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, ESPN. I think those may be connected now, but there's so many different options. And you can provide some incentive to a specific channel that you you enjoy. Think about all those other things on Netflix or Disney Plus that you don't like. The only thing I watch is The Mandalorian on Disney Plus. So many other things. You can provide some some incentive to a specific creator that makes content that you like. Why not do it? Think about it. So one other thing before I conclude the video, I actually followed that immediately with a real cookup of something good that turned out pretty well. But this video is long enough, so I'm gonna post that separately. Give it a watch. I really can cook over the fire, and um, I know how to do it, and I turn out some pretty good stuff. So check it out. In an upcoming video, I've also gotten my hands on a real delicacy that is from Australia and I've wanted it for a long time and I fa finally found a place I could get it. So I'm gonna do a cook up with something that uh, I've wanted to make since I was a kid. So watch for that too. Thanks for watching. Give me a like and a subscribe.